Megan, that was uh, gritty, grimy, uh, Brooklyn-esque kind of uh, uh, fourth quarter. 21-7 uh, run. I don't have any stats, but I think 21-7 run to finish the game. Uh, down, you right? <laughs> Uh, we're down 12 at one point, uh, but guys just kept fighting uh, play after play. We just said dedicate to this play and move on to the next one. We did. And when you talk about the fight, they have so many young guys step in when you've had to deal with so many different rotations. What can you just say about that brutal as grinding this fight that they have and that you've seen? Yeah, it was awesome to have Cam finish the game. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's lessons of life. It's amazing what the difference of a week could look like, what two weeks can look like. And he, he was ready. Uh, Cam is a hooper. I could take him to Rucker Park. I could take him to Crenshaw High School on, on the West Coast. So he, he can hoop. And um, uh, unbelievable job of finishing the game today. Obviously, you'll always take a 40-point win like you got the other night. But, I mean, is there an intrinsic yeah. value in a team that's essentially a new group? I mean, you've gone through a couple of iterations of this team. Is yeah. there an intrinsic value in coming from behind and pulling out a win like that? Yeah, Brian, without a doubt is because the, the, I think the thing that we're going to hold on to is back-to-back, -back, on the road, odds are against you. We talk about no excuses, and we didn't find an excuse. We, we found a solution, and so that was the goal of the entire group, to see the bench cheering for each other, totally into the game. Um, without a doubt, this win is a little different. It means more than, than the other night. Jack, obviously, Kevin's Kevin, you know, unbelievable play, but specific to tonight, when you put him back in with 6.30, yeah. just how much of a lift did he give the rest of the group? Yeah, total trust, I think, uh, that he had in the coaching staff. You know, he ran the whole third, and if it was up to him, he would have loved to run the whole fourth. Uh, but we said, let's, let's wait so you have good energy to finish the game. I pointed out one play to the group after the game. I asked Utah Watanabe, had he ever met Kevin Durant before this? And he said no. But at the end of the game, Kevin drove on the right side of the floor. Utah Watanabe was open in the corner. He threw it to him. The group trusted each other throughout the course of the night, and that was a prime example.